the numbers around this show over the last few weeks have exploded because we've never had this concentrated sort of sports interest uh, where things are at the height of crazy. Right, two in, teams at once. Well, know. but in 25 years, we've never had, uh, you know, Miami does bandwagon well, and the country was actually interested in things going on in South Florida. And so I imagine today the, the people are here to eat tears because one of the great fun things in sports is to enjoy the misery of people who were loudmouths and lose at the end. And second place isn't what the Heat is about. I would have taken second place at any point in the last 30 years of Panthers. <laughs> and so what I'm not going to do today, Stugatz, what I'm not going to do today is spend too much time ripping Roy and Chris Cody for spending God knows how much money in Las Vegas to go see what I think might have been the most lopsided ending to a season in the history of that sport. I didn't look at the numbers, but 9-3, that can't be the way a lot of seasons have ended in <laughs> hockey of glory and wonder. And um, uh, we'll go to, at some point, Chris Cody and Roy in Vegas just to get them up at an unreasonable hour if they've even gone to sleep. Right. But before we get to what it is that I'm assuming America wants from this show today, which is tears, I will just tell you, at this point in my life, in my mid-50s, dealing with real hard away from here, I am so damn grateful for the last two months of crazy distraction that has been sports in this market. And I don't want to soil that with, Jimmy Butler, you're a bum. Kachuk, why couldn't you play through the sternum, through the, through the fractured sternum in game five so that it wouldn't end 9-3? I know you want tears here, but it's really hard to get. None, only one team in both the sports got to where Miami got, and they both got there at the same time. And they gave us just so much fuel over the last two months that I'm super grateful for it. So you're fine with second place? You're yes. fine with being yes. a runner-up? Yes. In both sports? Yes. We went through all that, stayed up every night, watched every game. It wasn't every two nights off because one team was making a run. It was every damn night because and, both and teams were And it was were all magical. Run, right? It was all of it was great because I didn't expect any of it. None of it. I think I, I talked to a couple people. I think most people just feel relief that it's all over, yeah. which is kind of crazy because, like, on paper, you're like, oh, my God, in two days, our city lost two major sports championships. We should be incredibly depressed. And it's just like, thank God I can go back to living my life. Because the problem is, like you were saying, with the schedule and it happening at the same time, like, I don't know how anyone could be as invested as they normally would be in either one because it was like one, the other, or in one, life, the other. Or in life, Billy. Oh, like, my life's been on yeah. pause for like two <laughs> yeah. months now because yeah. everyone's just expecting it to end at some point, and then it didn't, and then you're like excited. On the flip side, though, could you imagine if we would have won two oh. championships in two days? Oh, my <laughs> God. Would've been that great. would have been an all-time <laughs> yes. high, yeah. but it didn't happen, and it's just like – Oh, my God. Thank goodness this is over. Now we can go back to paying attention to the Marlins. We're happy these series were not Football. extended to the, you know, sixth game, seventh game, because neither team was going to win. And so it's over. It's uh, I can move on no, with we my are summer. Not, go please see speak, dead okay, speak for yourself, is. because yeah. Stugatz came in here and just like Saratoga, dropped I mean, sandwich all over the table yeah. and said and just looked at me while eating threw crumbs on his face. Vacation mode, Dan. <laughs> dead summer. You're happy it's over because you had to work. Well, you seem happy as well. You're, you're, I mean, I'm grateful that it that uh, it existed. Uh, I am. What did they say about uh, the corny thing about love? Like, uh, I'm happy that I had it, man. I'm not sad that it's gone. I'm happy that I ever had it. Don't oh. cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Yeah. No, that's not the thing. Is it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Dance like nobody's Bingo. watching. I, I, I think he combined two cliches. Yeah. Yeah. Don't cry because it's over. Good Laugh attempt. because Miami lost two championships <laughs> in two consecutive nights after yeah. being. The loudest gas bags this entire postseason over teams that they didn't even believe in to begin with during wow. the regular season. That's what made it so magical. Well That's the said. saying. Yep. <laughs> that should be the saying. Mm -hmm. Jessica is radiant. She is beaming. Oh. She brought her dog in. I, the dog, I just saw the dog run by, I, run by back here after a, a ball of some sort. Yeah, yeah, my stress ball that I got from the finals. Good, good riddance, I guess. Well, what's going on here? Are we taking the means I mean, airport experience two, and bringing it yeah, to the show? Two <laughs> nights in a row, back to back, season ending, finals ending losses. We needed a therapy animal in here today. You, you thought this would relieve stress. It relieved everyone's stress except yours because you're the only one that hates 
dogs. I here. don't hate dogs. I just don't like strange dogs. They're, you're you're afraid. Amin of dogs. hates dogs. You're His afraid. reaction when he noticed there yeah. was dogs here today was kind of great. And then he was in like a swivel chair and just kept spinning around, hoping that the dog wouldn't just, follow him. Yeah, leave me. Was the dog in what? here? Yeah, the oh, dog is on, back guys. in here now. No, I mean, uh, who I hates that, dogs? Like, man. Amin came in here and said, "What's with the dogs?" I know a lot of people who hate dogs. Show's gone to the dogs. Really? It's a valid question Amin has. Why is there dogs here? It's pretty well, normal. No, he dogs did, with an S. He came, with an S. He came in and said, what's with the dogs? Uh, but I do think he's afraid of dogs. He doesn't trust dogs. And I know a lot of people like this. Because we dog lovers can love dogs and never be scared of them. But Amin sees an animal that bites and that he doesn't trust. And I'm, <laughs> I'm sure this animal does that. She doesn't bite. I, well, She's that, never bitten. Yeah, oh, those she are say that. ornamental. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, just, it's just there for show. At night, right. she takes them out puts them in a glass of seltzer water. They're not dentures. Then they bite. She doesn't bite. She's okay. a good girl. Right. She Every, bites. I, I, this first off, Hildy and Kristen said it smells it, like urine in here. On Wednesday, here. Here. yeah. Well, no, it does smell like urine in here. Sorry that. about that. Go, go, <laughs> yeah. go away. Chris, Kristen, no, it really Hildy smells said, like piss in here. I said sorry. Why is, is it coming? Is it, I don't get. Why is it coming to me? They have a pet policy on Wednesdays to bring your dog to work every Wednesday. That's not a thing. They do. Kristen and Hildy they said it was a thing. I I trust them and believe in them. They're in charge of the production around here. And they said, bring Willow in, and it'll be a great stress reliever for everyone. We've had a long, stressful, stressful spring, all right? We needed a little break. We needed some pep, some happiness in the studio. So I said, okay, I'll bring her in. And then Bambi came in, who's Hildy's sister's dog, who is the cutest little baby. That dog bites, for sure. For sure. And so I think everyone's in a good mood because of the dogs, except Amin. Don't you go home to this dog every night? (laughs) Yeah. What's, what's, What's stress relief? What's stress relief? You see it every night. It doesn't need like you love Lee, right? Yeah. The Lee man. Putting me on the spot. Right? Le- Lehman. Lee man is his name. Putting you Elward, on the spot. Yeah, so, so it's like, imagine <laughs> saying, you know what? It's not enough that I see him when I go home. I have to have him at work too. Oh, it would be nice if Lee came to uh, bring your boyfriend. A lot today. nicer. Bring him in instead of this. 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 Uh, it's a this. You guys need to come in here and He's tell right. me. It hey. smells like urine in here. I'm not joking. I'm assuming it's not a mean or it's Stugatz. Yeah. Uh, it could be Stugatz. Stugatz. I apologize. Vacation mode, Dan. Mm-hmm. Oh. All of those little s- plush toys that we play with out there in between breaks, that, that dog has been all over it now. Yeah, they're all contaminated. Yeah. It's done. I was oh, no. nervous. I knew today was dog day and I was coming in and I just know, you know, Dan doesn't always the react dog days the best of summer. to like different things being thrown at him. You know what I mean? So it's like there's been lots of people here lately. Shows have been stressed. I'm like, I don't know that bringing in a bunch of dogs is a good yeah. idea today. But it's gone well. The one thing has I will it? say, I have yes. yeah, so far so good. Dan was the most. It only takes to one though. It only takes one incident. I have a pastelito sitting out there on the counter. Oh, that's I'm, gone. I'm, that's what I'm you talking that about. Quick. Yeah, <laughs> Dan, how do you think about this idea? Talking about wasting company resources because I came up with a cute idea that I told Hildy and Kristen about yesterday. Yesterday, I thought that they should have made uh, ID, employee IDs for the dogs because they had the printer out yesterday, but they didn't do it. Sure. <laughs> you see? You see? It's, yeah, Aww. that's fine. Great this idea, this right? is what you Great built. idea, Billy. I'm glad you're working hard on keeping us all afloat. and just Next Wednesday, finding, Roma can come in. I, I think Billy gets company the most morale. joy. No, I think Billy gets the most joy. How can I cost this uh, company that's four, minimal. $4 here and there? I mean, you guys like, just, what, what, thousands what, not, of dollars to go to Las Vegas for what? Okay, A well, blowout? thank you thank you for bringing that up because here we go. We've got Roy Bellamy uh, joining us live from very early in Vegas. Uh, I have gotten no content for this show from Chris Cody and Roy Bellamy. I'm glad we sent both of them and John Reed in a Panther jersey. So he, todo. Todo. And so he can get kicked out of another press box. Uh, game five, you lose nine to three. I haven't looked at any of the numbers, Roy. Uh, have we had a lot of finals that have ended with uh, with that? <laughs> with somebody getting hit nine three and being a loser? You flew out to Vegas to see a historic loss in the end of your season and you looked like you're hungover. It's because I am, Dan. Um, yeah, uh, there have been two instances of the team scoring nine goals uh, in the Stanley Cup final game before this. So this is the third time. Uh, and I got into my room at around 5.30 Eastern this morning, so I'm, I'm hurting. Hmm. Okay, good you coverage. Uh, good time? coverage. What were you doing? You were just wandering around on the ice, celebrating with the Vegas players, being around uh, uh, what could have been your dreams. Instead, your dreams dashed and crushed and turned into ice. 
That and drinking, yes. Yeah, that's, that's my kind <laughs> yeah. of mm-hmm. uh, Where were you? Uh, the Cosmopolitan. Uh, I had my first Cosmo, which was pretty nice. Uh, it came in a nice little fancy glass. Um, tasted like oranges. Yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. <laughs> so this wasn't all for naught. <laughs> no, that wasn't all for naught. I had my uh, night saved because of it. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Huh. Where's Chris Cody? I don't know. Oh, you know what happened? He set his alarm for 5.30 p.m. instead of a.m. So he's late. Of course he did. Any other content that we can get? Strong content from Vegas. Uh, you and uh, Chris were in Vegas and you were just gambling uh, and didn't. That's it. That's the coverage we have on this hockey season that you've been the most exciting hockey season of your life, correct? Uh, yes, it's uh, basically the best Panthers team that we've ever seen because they won a game in this Stanley Cup final series. So, yeah, but we do have content coming. Um, it involves a wedding chapel. Uh, I won't go further into that but uh, yeah it, we got content coming congrats you guys, you guys got married <laughs> wow well almost okay oh, uh, so there is content coming i'll believe it when i see it i've heard such things from the basketball all-star <laughs> game that tony and amin went to uh, we we do very well with disappearing coverage so i'll believe it when i see it so far i've seen only this it's not very much the lost tapes from cleveland man if anyone could have seen them yeah Ooh. they would have been great i'm sure just wasting money right and left. All right, sleep and get home. Uh, congratulations on the greatest hockey season we've ever seen in Panther hockey. One win. Uh, the most radiant. Baby steps, the Dan. most radiant person here today is Jessica. She is just. Uh, this is Jessica's happiest day at work. She's got dogs. I've never seen her this happy here. Like she, our our misery. <laughs> <laughs> she is she is beaming she is beaming in our faces happy hump day folks 